AI search engines like Perplexity and OpenAI's SearchGPT have caused a big headache for Google. Steve Kovac has the details. Steve, uh, you can see Google shares just reacting here. But is the narrative really true that these AI search engines are going to make Google search engine obsolete? Once you learn how and more importantly, when to use Perplexity AI, you know the answer right away. Perplexity or Perplexity AI, you'll hear me use both terms, is a free AI search engine designed to revolutionize the way you discover information. Its founder, Arvind Srinivas, describes it as It's like ChatGPT and Wikipedia having a baby together. <laughs> Essentially, Perplexity uses AI to first understand what exactly you're searching for or asking, then searches the internet for answers from a variety of sources, and finally, it provides you with a concise summary of its findings. You can imagine how useful this is instead of having to manually search the internet, having to click on multiple links, and then reading, if not all of them, some of them, most of them. Perplexity does all of this relatively quickly and with a lot of ease. And there are so many use cases. Let's check some of those out. Do you want to keep up with the new trends in AI? How about what are the newest LLM models? At the top of the results, we can see the sources Perplexity use and right below it, a summary of its findings from using those sources. It's almost like having a personalized article written just for us. Or how about looking into recent events, such as compare and contrast the AI policy of both US presidential candidates. In this example, we can see how perplexity provides a broad range of relevant topics for each candidate without going too much into detail. But what's even better is that it provides the key differences at the bottom of the results, for an even more concise answer. This is just another example of how perplexity makes research so much easier. And it doesn't always need to be about recent events. It could be about explaining complex topics, like explain RAG in simple terms. Not only that, perplexity also has other features that make it unique. With focus, you can narrow down the sources of information that it uses, such as using academic only or social sites only. Let's try what are the best AI tools for marketers? When checking the sources for this response, we only see Reddit pages. Perplexity even has supercharged features in its paid plan, including Pro Search, which can break down a single query into multiple detailed steps and even answer math problems. Perplexity Pages, which allows you to put all of your findings in a seamless and visually pleasing page that you can publish or share with others. Okay, you may be wondering, how is this any different than the other popular AI models? Can ChatGPT do something similar? And the answer is, sort of. OpenAI's GPT-4 all model supports real-time internet searches, but the thing is, Perplexity does a much better job at searching the internet and coming up with a more comprehensive answer. When asking ChatGPT to search the web to see what users are saying of its newest GPT-4 all mini model, it shows how many sources were looked at and gives a concise summary. Perplexity, on the other hand, goes through a more diverse pool of sources, including social forums, and provides a bit more structure in its response, bringing it down into sections and bullets. Additionally, Perplexity cites its sources throughout its answer, giving the users the opportunity to check the sources. If you think about it, this makes sense because Perplexity AI was designed with research in mind, whereas ChatGPT is a general purpose AI. And for that reason, it's why I believe OpenAI announced a new product called Search GPT. Now, I don't have access to the prototype as of this video, but seeing some of the samples floating around the internet, I can see it really resembles Perplexity. I'll be doing a comparison of Perplexity and Search GPT as soon as I get access, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. The one problem with AI search engines like Perplexity and Search GPT is that they are not going to be the very best at one very important thing, which is for simple searches. Think about the last few things that you googled or searched online were they all complex questions requiring multiple sources or to have AI analyze and summarize for you? Or were they some things like Netflix? Or restaurants near me open late? Or best laptop deals? Putting any of these prompts in perplexity or search GPT would simply be overkill and a bit inefficient. Why? Because search engines like Google have gotten really good at what they do. So the question remains, are AI search engines going to make Google search obsolete? Based on what we just saw, I would believe that this is not true. 
My opinion is that Google will remain the de facto search engine for most people because most things that people search on the internet don't need a comprehensive answer. Let's hear from the CEO of Perplexity himself. They can still use Google to like quickly get to some subreddit, but if you want to know like how do I decide between Airbnb and Verbo, those are questions that we can answer. However, that doesn't mean that Google would just sit there and do absolutely nothing. In fact, on May 2024, Google took one step toward AI search engine capabilities. Google calls it AI overviews. And rather than me explaining it, why don't we just use the feature instead to get our answer? As you can see, me just searching for Google AI overview, I get an AI main summary at the top of the search results. Google AI Overview is a feature in Google Search that uses AI to summarize search results and provide concise answers to queries. Within this section, we can also see the links to the sources and a separate window to learn more. Let's try one more example based on what we saw earlier. Let's go with Explain RAG in Simple Terms. Looking at Google's AI Overview explanation of RAG, I think it's quite simple and direct to the point. Now, if we try to compare it to perplexity, they go into a bit more detail and break down the concept into a few sections. However, both are pretty good and get the point across. Now, in case you're perhaps still not sure of when to use what, this is what I do. I use Google for quick and straightforward searches where speed and simplicity are key. And I use perplexity when I know the topic is not straightforward or there is not a single obvious answer. Each tool has its strengths and knowing when to use what makes a world of a difference. For more on AI search engine tools, watch this video next.